Welcome to All Things Mac. I'm your host, Jim Fair. Today, how to unlock the power of disk utility. So where is disk utility? If you go Shift Command U, your utilities folder comes up and there it is. And we're gonna double click with the option key down to close the window as we open disk utility. And this is what we would see. So here I have a Windows formatted USB stick plugged into the USB-C port on the side of my MacBook Pro here. And you can see that it is an XFAT, which is a Windows type of volume. So if I want to erase this and use it on the Mac, I can change this to Mac OS Extended Journaled. The other ones are not suitable, so case sensitive, no one should ever use that. It's a special case for certain software engineering things, but nobody else should ever use it. And I don't know why they keep it around. It's just something to users pick by mistake and then they have problems. So I could say, you know, format for this for Windows, but it turns out it's not really a Mac volume. So if we click Erase, uh, to all intents and purposes, the operation appears to go off without a hitch. So see, it says Erasing. If we wanted, we could look at the details, but there's no point really. And um, so this is how Disk Utility looks in its default view, okay? Now, how do I know this is not really a Mac volume? It's, it's certainly got a Mac uh, extended journal volume on it. So here's how you know. If you go to this little menu here and you say show all devices, all right? Now you're unlocking the full power of Disk Utility so here's the volume and here's the device or the partition map uh, level of things, okay? So now we can see the partition is a master boot record type, whereas what we want is uh, the partition type that we use for uh, Intel Max, which is called GUID. So now if we click Erase with the device highlighted, we have a new option called Scheme, which stands for Partition Scheme or Partition Type. And instead of Master Boot Record, we want this GUID partition map. Now you'll notice there's an old Apple partition map format listed. And, and you know, if you're new to the Mac, you might think, oh, this is what I should use. It says Apple on it, right? Well, uh, wrong again. This dates back from the PowerPC era. So Macs uh, built prior to 2006 that used the PowerPC processor needed this Apple partition map, but all of the Intel Macs uh, right up until today uh, use GUID partition map. So now we have partition map, the correct volume type. Now uh, there are only four that are valid in this list, okay? So APFS, APFS encrypted, if it's a solid state device. Mac OS extended, extended journaled, which is what you should use in 99% of the situations, or journaled encrypted. The rest of these things with the case sensitive are totally wrong. And these two formats down the bottom, FAT and XFAT, are Windows types. So 99% of the time, you should be picking Mac OS extended journaled. All right, and then we give it a name. Uh, we're just gonna call it test and click Erase. If I want to, I can show the details and watch the operation uh, by clicking on this Disclosure Triangle, as Apple calls it. And, you know, you can see what's happening as, as the disk is formatted. You can see its Unixy name underneath, and now it says Test. So now you can see, uh, when you click Done, operation was successful, and now it says GUID Partition Map. If we click on the volume, you can see it's a Mac OS extended journal volume. So now that is able to be used for any Mac purpose, such as creating an installer disk, uh, doing a time machine backup, manually dragging and dropping files, whatever you want to do. You notice up here, you can see our internal drive, and we have the option to hide it 
which is kind of interesting. Uh, so here's the device. So it's an Apple solid state drive. Here is the container. So that's the APFS container, the new Apple file system container. And then there's the APFS volume inside of that. And then inside of that, there's more containers that you're not able to see here in the graphical user interface. You would have to go down to the terminal level to see those. So that gives you a little bit of a techie overview. But uh, again, <clears throat> to unlock the power of disk utility, you need to get into this little menu and make sure show all devices has been selected. You can even hide this sidebar and it's like that what would you do? I mean so you have to have the sidebar on and by default it'll show only volumes which cripples disk utility. So you have to go show all devices and that unlocks most of the power of disk utility and allows you to uh, erase things and change the partition type and you can also click on the info button you can see all kinds of gobbledygook about your particular device we're going to take this back to the mac so i'm going to go erase and i'm going to say okay let's just call this uh external i'm going to go with mac os extended journal in the guid partition map click erase and it's going to erase the volume that was for Windows and put it back to the Mac. And this will take it a few seconds. There are a number of operations involved, but now you can see at the top level, we have GUID partition map. We step down to the volume. It's a Mac OS extended journal. That's a brief overview on disk utility and how to unlock the power of disk utility that Apple is hiding from you. Okay, um, I don't know why they're hiding the functionality because maybe they think it's too confusing, but perhaps they should take out some confusing things like case sensitive file formats and uh, maybe have a little bit of a, a guide or something. I don't know, because right now disk utility is not very user friendly. Uh, it's almost easier to use the command line. <laughs> so, almost. Anyway, uh, that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching. Fade out.